A matching gift opportunity is a game changer every time I use it, and at year end is no exception. Offering a matching gift opportunity to your donor base will motivate others to give sacrificially, and you'll see more money than ever before. Follow the steps in this video and you'll find perfection in your year-end efforts. Let's get started. Asking partners for a matching gift can be an adventure, but it can also be a lot of fun. At the start of one of my recent campaigns, I set a goal to raise $50,000 and wanted to raise $25,000 in pace setting commitments. Individuals who would agree to match gifts given from others. I reached my largest donor on the phone and explained to him that I was trying to secure $25,000 in pace setting commitments. His response was great. He said, Jim, do you know where I'm at right now? I said, no. I'm on the beach in Hawaii. I have been so blessed. If I didn't help you, what kind of hypocrite would I be? He then stated, I believe I can help you with a commitment of $15,000. And then he paused. The additional $10,000 will be a little tougher, but I can find that as well. How soon do you need it? He heard that I was trying to raise $25,000, but didn't hear that I was only hoping that he would help with a portion of that. Instead, he covered the entire $25,000 pay setting commitment himself, opening up incredible opportunities to increase my goal and the amount I'd raised overall. Since I still had a handful of people to call for pay setting gifts, I increased my overall goal from fifty dollars to $80,000 and was able to get $40,000 in pay setting gifts. That was a very rare but extremely memorable experience for me and show just how important it is to not be afraid to challenge people to give and give big. Frankly, I put off calling this man for fear of a negative response, but the timing of him being on the beach was just perfect. I learned a valuable lesson to step out in faith and challenge someone no matter what your emotions are telling you. Try it. You might see a similar level of success. Since 2005, when the economy took a major downturn, I've been testing and fine-tuning the match and gift strategy. I saw that with diminished resources that people wanted to maximize their giving and an opportunity to double their giving seemed too good to pass up. Now, I get it. Matching gifts campaigns aren't for every donor. Some are skeptical of their value and success, but frankly, it's been a game changer for our organization and the organizations listening to my counsel on fundraising. There are Four key steps to finding perfection in your matching gift campaign at year end. They are as follows. Step one, set the goal. To maximize the opportunity of a matching gift effort, it's important to set your overall fundraising goal for year end. It's recommended that you set the overall goal and make an attempt to have at least 50% of the goal be raised in pay setting commitments. Please don't make the mistake of setting your overall goal artificially low because you feel you can't get 50% in commitments or that 50% of your goal is a requirement. It's a recommendation, nothing more. I've had many successful fundraising campaigns where I only had 10% or less of my goal in matching money. The difference is that I had a match. Not offering a match is so much worse than no match at all. Last spring, I coached a friend who struggled to get matching money for his gala. He was two days out and had none. He was fully prepared to give up and not offer any match at all. I pleaded with him to at least find some money. He managed to get someone to offer $10,000 towards the overall dinner goal of $190,000. They offered the match to anyone who made a commitment of $1,200 or $100 a month or more. Prior to that dinner, they never had more than three gifts over $1,200. With the match, they got 21 gifts of $1,200 or more. He was convinced that it was due to the match. I knew that already. Step number two, find the pace setters. Once you've established your overall goal and how much you desire to get in pace setting commitments, go about identifying who and how many commitments you hope to get. Having the goal and sharing that goal with the pay setter candidates makes a big difference. 
Everyone likes a target to shoot for and wants to be part of accomplishing something big. I usually break down the pace setting goal into even chunks. Five commitments of 5,000 for 25, 10 commitments of 2,500 for 25,000. Some donors may be able to give more than 5,000. Some may have to get less. My year-end campaign last year, which had a 25,000 pace setting goal, I had somebody who was willing to give 15,000 instead of just 5,000. That helped because I had a few who could only give $2,500. Look through your donor database and find people who currently give $5,000 gifts per year or just under that. I would consider asking someone who has given $5,000 in the past to consider $7,500 for this campaign. You never lose when you challenge people to give more. At the least, people settle in at the number you originally needed anyway. Step number three, challenge the pace setters. Once you've determined who you will ask and how much, go about challenging those individuals. Depending on the relationship, that will determine how you will contact the person. All the people that I challenged in my year-end campaign, I just picked up the phone and asked them with little preparation that I had such a close relationship with them. However, in the past, I've met with people to discuss the pay setting gift, but in some cases, I also sent an email explanation before calling or visiting someone to ask. Don't be afraid to challenge big and be sure to explain to them the implications and the rules of the game. Their gift is being used to stimulate and motivate others to not only give, but give sacrificially. Matching gift efforts are designed to accelerate other giving by leveraging the gift to the pay setter. I believe pay setters like to see their gift leveraged in more ways than just the impact made from your project. They see it as a yield on their investment, having more than one use. Remind them also that most fundraising watchdog organizations would see pay setting gifts received before the campaign is finished as not part of the match and are disqualified. Ask your pace setters to wait until the campaign is finished or nearly finished to actually send in their gift. That way, all parties know that their portion was met by gifts from the masses. Step number four, use the pace setting commitments to motivate others. Once you have your pace setters, set out to use those commitments to, ad to your advantage. Send a year-end letter to as many remaining donors as possible and use it during appointments with other major donors. Normally, I'll segment my list to mail a dear friend letter to the masses, those who have given between $1 and 999. I'll send a personalized letter with special giving options related to the amount of their last gift to those giving largest single gifts of 1,000 to 499, followed up with a phone call. And then I'll send another personalized version of those giving largest single gifts over 5,000, followed up with a phone call or even a visit. I'll be sure to highlight the matching gift opportunity and that a gift of 1,000 becomes 2,000 with the match or 2,500 becomes 5,000, but especially that a gift of 5,000 becomes 10,000. It's important to use that phrasing specifically because it brings to life what is happening with the match and the opportunities. If your organization can qualify how many lives will be changed by how much is given, that doubled amount should have a double the impact on changed lives as well. Once you feel your giving has mostly died down, be sure to follow back up with the pace setters to let them know you need their entire gift then, and I say that optimistically. Just a reminder, don't wait for after December 31 to ask for their gift, as most pace setters need the tax deduction before year end. Without a doubt, a matching gift campaign is a game changer at year end. If you follow the instruction in this video, you should see perfection in your year end strategy. Embrace the process and especially marvel in the way your donors sacrifice to help you accomplish your mission, both in pay setting commitments and gifts to your appeal letter. Seeing donors view themselves as partners in an effort to fully fund your organization is one of the many joys of development. If you enjoyed what you heard, please subscribe to this channel and share this with your friends or colleagues. There's no cost to you. 
We're building a movement through a community of life changers and it's my desire that by subscribing, you'll learn principles and practices that help you secure the resources necessary to accomplish your mission and change the world. Simply hit the subscribe button and click the all bell to be notified when the next video is released. We're also adding valuable content to our Life Changers Facebook group, so go out there to become a member as well. If you want to find out what to do and say during a meeting with a donor, watch this video and raise more money than ever before, change some lives and better our world. I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.